All right, it's Two Drunk Bastards. I'm James. And I'm Brandon. And this is a, uh, a, a whiskey, whiskey edition. Yeah, kind of a, kind of a special edition uh, podcast here, or a podcast, a cast, or whatever cast the hell this sorts. is. A video vlog, if you will. A little, uh, let's do a little backdrop. A little backdrop. Not I, back here. Not back here. <laughs> I recently have, I've gotten engaged. Yes. Brandon brought me a, uh, yes, I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. Brandon brought, bought me a, uh, a good bottle of whiskey. It's a Scotch yeah. whiskey. It's McCollin. It is uh, McCollin Twelve Year. Um, yeah, please. Yes, McCollin. For those of you who don't know, was established in eighteen twenty four. This is a twelve year whiskey, um, and it's exclusively matured in select sherry oak casks from uh, what does that say? Jerez, Spain. Uh, Jerez, mm-hmm. maybe. You're Spain, Spain? I think. Okay. Anyway, mm-hmm. this is an 86 uh, proof. This is a 43% alcohol by volume. Uh, so a whole lot heavier than most of the brews that we've been tasting on this uh, sh- show up to this point. But this is a scotch made in Scotland. Um, quite expensive. And this one's actually made in their distillery in Speyside, Scotland. And needless to say, we have cracked it open. We did. Uh, we to indulged. celebrate his. Um, but, so he... What is the point of today's podcast, James? The, the bigger point to, to today's podcast is to see is the McCollin worth the extra cabbage? Because uh, that is a that's an expensive bottle of whiskey. We bought a cheap bottle of Chavez Regal. Chavez Regal. Uh, <laughs> it sounded so much smoother when you said it. Here, you take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a Chavez Regal uh, blended Scotch whiskey. This is also I tried to make sure that we got an, another twelve year whiskey. Um, that's. Just say lesser, lesser in price. This uh, they were established in 1801, so both are very old uh, brewer, breweries or distilleries, I guess I should say. And this is also blended uh, by the Shivas brothers um, in Scotland. And this is a uh, 80 proof, so this is a 40 percent, or uh, yeah, a 40 percent by volume. Comparatively, if you were to buy a bottle of that at this uh, <clears throat> whatever at that size, yeah, uh, this one uh, is about a third less than that. Okay, so in McCullen. For all intent purposes, is considered a very good whiskey. So. It's is literally top shelf. It's literally top. None's shelf. too good for his friends. That's so. Anyway, uh, the, so um, the point is, is to try and find out if it's w- worth the extra, you know, few bucks to get to just settle for the <clears throat> Shivas, or if the McCollin is worthwhile. We are so. going to measure out the McCollin with the Outer Banks, North Carolina shot glass that one of my friends got me. Yeah, uh, uh, very nice looking granite. Yeah, like. it's it's a. a, a granite looking yeah. uh, with the little skull flag so we like it and obviously we won't be drinking these on the rocks or in any mixed drinks we're literally pouring it out the glass taking it straight up to find out is the McCollin smoother is it for the intent oh, of great God. for the intent of staying as sober as possible uh, we have things to do today <laughs> yes. we're going to split a shot yeah so half a shot each just to kind of uh, wet the palate and see what it's see what it's like basically so all right. I spilled it on me, so now I smell like scotch Blended whiskey. Scotch which whiskey. Hopefully, I don't get a pulled over. Yes. Oh, uh, great God! I'm not driving, so okay. uh, let's see. Do we oh, get about no. the right amount? Yeah, that's okay. Good. Yeah, it's about even. Uh, well, it looks like a scotch whiskey. Uh, not a lot to talk about. It, yeah, it looks like a scotch. Smells Ooh. like a scotch. Uh, it it will literally send tingles up your spine. Um, at over it'll 80 send tingles proof. up your dingle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or knock like it into that. the dirt. One of the two. Oh. Um, but yeah, if you can't see it, there it is. We're playing on not stiff. There you go. Let's try it, Brandon. We know what it tastes like. It's pretty good whiskey. Oh, God. <laughs> I know exactly what it tastes like. That's why I'm freaking scared. The funny thing is <laughs> neither of us is really a whiskey drinker. No. No, it's not. But, but when you're celebrating. When you're celebrating, it's nice to have a good bottle of something. But my, my question, obviously, and I posed this to James the other day. That's why we're doing this now. Is, is it really worth... Saving a few bucks to go with something. I mean, and let's not be unrealistic. The Shivas is a. It's is, not. Is, it's an established brand, and it's not your bottom shelf aristocrat. Also, but there's something to be said. Even if they're close in taste, I'll touch on this later. I, yeah, let's, 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 let's just do this first. Oh man, 
I can't do scotch. I can do moonshine. I can't do scotch. Come on, man. I was wimping out over the moonshine. You're wimping out over the scotch. Yow. I will say, nope, still no hair. Uh. <laughs> starting to burn, actually. <laughs> give me the... <laughs> Give me the, the squinty <clears throat> eye. Give me the squinty eye. <laughs> You're making this harder than it has to be. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, man. I can't wait until my bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, we oh, which we, we're going to broadcast for you guys, of course. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to periscope that. We're, we're going to wolf pack that thing up. We're going to periscope that. Uh, will they let us do that inside? Um, I don't think they'll let video camera in there. When, we're not playing by the rules. We're the wolf pack. Uh, okay. All right, that's cool. We'll figure it out. We'll cast from somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Obviously not inside of a bar. Uh, bar or, and or a place with, uh, you know, gratuitous nudity. So. Is it? Oh, he decided to find his way up the stairs, apparently. Ender's crying at the door. Let me let him in while Brandon yes. debbies out the shop. Go, uh, go get the old jangly neck. And, uh, anywho. You come in. Ender! There he is. All right, you gotta let me have your collar. There he is. Which is a nice new collar, by the way. Oh, a yeah. UK collar. Uh, yeah, Jesse was showing that to me the other day. She bought it for him. Oh, very cool. Ooh. I'm not that drunk. I'm just unbalanced. Naturally unbalanced. Yeah, I want to. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> well, I'm making more noise than he would if he were wearing it. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> it actually smells a little lighter. Yeah? Yeah. And her lay down. Go. Take a seat, man. Relax. Take a load off. It's not nearly as deep in color as the other one is. It's got a lot lighter smell. A lot lighter. You know what's funny is that doesn't quite break out to a full shot, I don't think. Well, in all fairness, I had had this one cracked, and I poured a, I poured a small splash in my brother's coffee just to jack with him. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been plowing snow, all right? He was freaking cold. He you was were tired. giving him a, a sweater for the inside. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Sure, you drunk <laughs> bastard. Oh, great God. There's a charcoal taste on the end of that one. Yeah. Smelling it, drinking it, not too bad. Um, the charcoal taste at the end of already black. Uh, I think um, I'm going to go with clearly the McCollum is better. Uh, that's got a little too much of a charcoal -y taste on the end of it. Uh, or an oaky taste. I would go McCollum if you wanted. McCollum certainly better. But is it worth the money? Are you okay? I hate that shit. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the McCollum is better. McCollum is better. It's better. I would say for the money, the it's name... my face I what is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> the McCullen's better. Money-wise, I think the McCullen's worth the money. That has too much of a you, charcoal if, if you taste. Want, if you want to taste... If you literally want to taste like you're drinking a shot of a of a grill, Shiva's. Pretty well done. But Good job. Half the price, pretty much. Maybe not quite, but still. McCullen... Now you you can literally I could pour this in a glass and sip on it, drink it, do whatever. Uh, the Shivas it would literally sit on my shelf and collect dust. By the way, though, in all fairness, uh, you're really supposed to sip this, not take shots of it. So I mean, we oh. uh, the McCullough to me wins. What would be interesting is, and maybe one day we'll do it for you guys, uh, is putting Jameson against McCullough because so like a Scotch versus Irish whiskey. Yes, because uh, Jameson's been my go-to Irish whiskey. Um, so the pit the two against each other would be interesting, but McCollin to me hands down wins, worth the money. McCollin is uh, absolutely worth the money, and th again, this is the twelve year. Oh. They also make a eighteen year uh, and a, like some other different reserved ones that are much more expensive than that <clears> one even. Hey, but uh, I appreciate it. I think it was a nice gesture. It was it was great, listen. and realistically, it was a great review. Um, I like the fact that now I know. Okay, should I ever buy Shivas again? And the answer is no. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we need to get back to beer, okay? <laughs> we got to get back to beer, and we will on the next free for. But you can check us out at Two Drunk Radio on Twitter and Two Drunk Bastards Radio on Facebook and www.twodrunkbastardsradio.com.
and the bastards are out. <laughs> Going down, I'm yelling to my 